right, greetings and welcome to my back porch. I am so thankful for the amazing people who have subscribed to my channel, who have liked and commented and gotten in touch with me, shared their archery experience. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I don't make any money or anything from these. I just share in order to share my experience. And it's been one of the most rewarding things, getting into this community and getting to know others and sharing in our journeys together. So thank you very much. Let's get to this review. A long time ago, I saw an awesome review by Armin about the Nika Archery um, ET4C bow. And this is one that I really was interested in after having gotten a bow very similar to that, um, Take Away the C, and that was the bow I got through AliExpress that I reviewed and put out there and had a lot of fun with until it inevitably broke, which you can see up in this little picture right here. And yes, you know, so it was inevitable that was going to happen. I put thousands of shots into this bow. I used it throughout my injury experience and it was great. It was a great bow, but I really wanted one that was a little bit more durable, that was still as much fun, that was still easily transportable and that I could use just for my daily practices here in my backyard and on travels. And it just so happens that my family is going on a trip. And so now is the perfect time to open this box that has been sitting in my garage for a while and check out the new Nika bow. So let's check this out. Time for the buck knife, buck knife time. Let's open up this box and see what we get. All right, so buck knife's away. What's in the box? This is what we get. First thing out of the box is the sleeves. They've got the logo on them now. The sleeve, dun, dun, dun. it's got a little, you know. ah, yeah. It's got a little Velcro. All right, yeah, nice. We'll go to sleep. Okay. Got the string. Container for it. Little warning. It says no empty space allowed. It is forbidden to point or aim at others when drawing the bow. Bows are deadly weapons. Please follow safety recommendations. Children must use bows and arrows under adult supervision. No empty space allowed. I don't know what that means but that's okay. And then we also got, oh, we got this cool little pin. Check this out. That's gonna go on my archery wall right there. So cool little pin. I like getting bling like this because I have an awesome wall full of these sort of things, which maybe I'll put another picture up. Maybe put a picture here. All right. So anyway, let's, uh, let's put this together and see what it's like. All right, so let's put this awesome bow together. First, we'll take it out of the sleeves. You've seen me do this sort of thing before, so not gonna be too big of a surprise here. All right, so it's really looking good so far. Um, we've got our clearly defined top limb and our clearly defined bottom limb. So I really like that. The limbs are feeling much sturdier than the previous limbs. So <laughs> yes, another fun crab bow. I really like crab bows. They look, they just look cool. In terms of their look, they look really cool. Um, did mine break? Yeah, but you know, it was really great while it lasted. So, and that one was inexpensive too, but uh, this one costs a little bit more. So. We have a very similar central anchor that we need to put in between the handles. And then it looks like it came with this leather wrap, almost wide enough for my hand. Almost, so it's okay. That came with this string. So let's put this thing together. Might not put the wrap around it yet. So here we go. So this just slides in. Put a little hole right there. Slide it in. Boom. <laughs> All right, then <laughs> you take the other side and it should just clip on. That's it, nice. And yes, you can see that there is a gap right here. So with that gap, you clearly need to have the leather wrap around that handle. I really like it so far, but I can tell that there's a lot of weight in these limbs, like a lot of weight back here. We'll see how that does, but look at the curves on this thing. Can you see those, those curves are just awesome. Like this bow looks so cool. All right, um, let's put the string on and take some shots and we'll see how it feels. So here's our string. I don't think, is one side longer than the other? Oh yeah, 
So there is a longer. All right, so this one is gonna be the top. And let's get this bad boy on. It has some extreme curves on it, this bow. What is the draw like? Feels pretty good. I wanted a 40 pound, and I think that is what I got. It's supposed to be a 40 pound bow, so that's pretty accurate. It definitely starts to stack here. It does not want to go past that point. There's good tension. There's tension right away. All right. It's smooth until that point, and then, yeah, really starts to stack at that point, but that's okay. So we're gonna take some test shots, first shots of this awesome bow, and uh, yeah, you're gonna see me shoot with this a lot very soon. No knocking point, no handle wrap yet. Um, just wanna take the shot. So here we go. <sighs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Take another one. Oh boy. Yeah, I like it. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Let's go with a different spine. It's greetings from the dunes and the beaches of North Carolina. It is absolutely beautiful out here. We're going to be taking some more shots, testing out our Nika Archery ET4C bow, which is sitting on this awesome stand right here, which I'll show off in the pictures probably around here somewhere. It is extremely windy out here right now, so I have no idea how accurate these shots will be. My target is that tiny little black dot right there. It is basically a garbage bag full of old uh, clothes, shirts, stuff like that that I just taped all up so that I'd have something to shoot out here in the dunes. And the sand provides the perfect natural backdrop to all this. So let's take some shots and uh, yeah, here, here we go. So I like it a lot. Things I would change about this bow right now Upon shooting it for the first few shots over the past week or so, it's got a really blocky back handle. So you're going to see that when I get back, I am definitely going to be changing out that handle and adding some grip to it. Um, I think it will improve the accuracy too because the grip will just feel a little bit steadier in my hand. And uh, obviously, as I always tell you, I will be adding a knocking point when I get home too. But for the purposes of this particular shoot, I am not doing that because I want to get an accurate reflection of what this thing feels like right out of the box. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I missed that one. Yick. All right. You know what? Got these two heavier arrows also, and we'll take these shots. I don't even know if you can see the target. Here we go. So we'll keep taking some shots here. All right. And there's a lot of wind. Lots of wind. All right. Put down the bow, go get the arrows, take some more shots on this gorgeous, gorgeous day in North Carolina. So it's so bright out here, I gotta wear the hat today. Otherwise, yeah, I can't basically can't see anything. So <laughs> that was a center shot. Let's try to get the same thing from the right. Well, a little higher as you can see. Moves the target when that happens. To demonstrate how windy it is. 
Can you see the sand going? <laughs> it's really windy out here. <laughs> and I did bring my oldest arrows, so the arrow flights, yeah, these all need new flights. But that's okay. I've actually hit the target with both of those last two shots. They just went through into the sand behind it. They were sort of on the edges. And that was a terrible shot. <laughs> so I really wanted a nice portable bow to be able to travel around with that was fun, that was convenient, that was easy to put together and take apart. So far I think this thing is. So I missed one shot there when I was moving around, but overall, this little target, it's about plate size, so, you know, hitting it, moving around different location, lots of wind, talking, this thing's a pretty good shooter, right? So, on to the next shot. Believe it or not, got even windier, so I changed locations, I'm in the sun and out of the sun now, found a nice shady spot that is a little bit more out of the wind and I'm going to be shooting under the porch through there into the same little garbage bag that also has a backstop behind it which I put together and uh, yeah here we go and yeah yeah the blocky handle mm. well that was a dead center shot <laughs> I'm using my link boy 30 inch, oh, that was a good shot, 500 spine, about 320 grain arrow off of this 40 pound bow, which I'm shooting at about 30 inches. And yeah, it's sending them pretty well. I definitely need to get more arrows. These arrows are pretty old, but uh, so far so good. I'm really enjoying this bow. Let's get those things. Whew. Almost hit my head in the porch. <laughs> Might need to move again. <laughs> Shooting underneath the porch from the shade through the sun into the shade. It's kind of a nice 3D experience. That was a little high, a little high. Let's get down. Perfect. That was a dead center shot. Yeah, I'm getting them. Trying a slightly different location. So I'm going to be up here now on this little hill so I don't go shooting down. That was okay. That's a good shot. Another good shot. I'm happy with that. I apologize for continually looking at the arrow. I'm having fun with this bow. Fuck. Language. There it was. Hit my head in the goddamn porch. I'm moving. Shit. One of my final assessments of this ET4C bow from Nick Archery. Well, number one, yes, I fixed the grip and the new grip is simply outstanding. I put a strip, a thin strip of foam layering in here, wrapped that with athletic tape, put a little bit of electrical tape just to secure it around, and then wrapped that with tennis grip, which you can see in the layers here, and then secured that also with tape on the bottom put in a ray skin arrow pass and now now there is zero hand shock in this bow and it is very accurate and much more enjoyable to shoot plus that blocky handle yeah not a problem anymore so there is no block handle now the foam provides really beautiful um, 
cushion and it, because there's no foam in the front, it provides really good stability when you're shooting, super accurate now. So observation number one, yeah, the handle is super blocky. It needed an upgrade. I gave it an upgrade. Next observation, you saw that shot hit center target. This thing, I, I'm really, really accurate with it now that I have a knocking point. I know where the arrow's going every time. The grip is really stable. It is super accurate and I'm really shooting well with it and getting excellent groups. So that's been a huge solid benefit. Um, it definitely needed those small changes. Oh, pulled off the knock. Definitely needed those small changes just to become a great shooter. <laughs> just knocked that other arrow. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really an accurate bow. Um, so that's a huge benefit. Part three of my assessment. I mean, look at this bow. I, I love the looks of these sort of purging crab bow style things. They're just so amazing looking. I mean, check the setting out at full draw. Can't even see that? Let me here, let me get back. Here it is at full draw. This thing is just so, so great. My kids just think it's amazing. My youngest son basically already asked me for it. So, you know, this is a bow that I think will continue to travel and, uh, and I'm gonna continue to have fun with. And the fact that it is still takedown the fact that it has a secure arrow pass now, the fact that the grip is super duper cozy and comfortable. You saw another fantastic group all together there. I mean, all the arrows are touching, so boom, great bow. Miguel Vera, our favorite Puerto Rican Asiatic archer, and I decided that uh, probably these 400 spine arrows from Link Boy are going to be the ones that fit this bow the best. Yeah, you know, some people say spine doesn't matter. Some people say uh, you should just be able to shoot whatever, but I do think it has an impact, especially when you get a little bit further back in your distance. And um, yeah, you know, these arrows, here's another fantastic group. <laughs> These arrows just fly phenomenally off the bow, and they're a little bit better than the 500 spines off of this 40 pound at 30 inch draw bow, and I draw them all the way. So these are 30 inch arrows, and pretty much drawing back to max of what I feel is comfortable with this bow. The bow doesn't really want to go further than that. You know, you draw, and it's there. It can go a little bit further. It has a little bit of give, but you know, I, I don't want to draw a bow all the way to max every time, and a bow should have a little bit of give at the end of the draw. So with the improvements that I made to the handle especially, this bow is definitely going to be one of my favorite shooters. I think this is going to be my primary bow that I use at school when I'm teaching kids, but it did require handle modifications to be one that was comfortable to shoot after a certain amount of time because that blocky handle against the inside of your hand just wasn't doing it for me. So thank you very much for watching, for subscribing. I appreciate you guys. Please comment, tell me about your archery journey. Tell me what you think of this little bow and the notifications. And uh, yeah, I encourage you to go out and shoot. Be well friends, happy shooting, and I'll see you the next time I see you.